what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. and welcome back um i ran across this story today it's about a miami dolphins offensive line coach chris forrester and um he's in a little bit of hot water about a video that he sent to his uh girlfriend and the girlfriend placed it on facebook now I'm going to show you the um the video and uh I have to warn you that it's very graphic. Uh but uh I want to show this clip first and then we'll talk about it. Okay, here it is. Hey Ben, miss you thinking about you. How about me going to a meeting and doing this before I go? <laughs> There's those big grains falling, but I miss you. I miss you a lot. What do you think? Crazy? Oh, no, babe. It's going to be a while before we can do this again. Because I know you're going to keep that baby. But I think about you when I do it. I think about how much I miss you. How high we got together. How much fun it was. So much fun. The last little bit before I go to my meeting. All righty then. Okay. Um, now, the video has no timestamp, but Forrester is her stating that he's snorting uh, the alleged cocaine before going into a meeting. It is unclear when Nige and Forrester had a relationship. But in the video, you can also hear Forrester telling Nige that he misses her. Now, uh, Nige placed this video on her Facebook page. And uh, she explained that she posted the video because the NFL fans bash minority players, but don't hold other accountable. Uh, now... Uh, she put this online, and I quote, The white people mad at me like I forced blow down this man's nose. And like I recorded it on the low. Uh, now, this was reported by the New York Daily News. Uh, no, those are his habits, and he recorded them himself and sent it to me, professing his love. So quick to make excuses for him, but will roast a minority player over an anthem, dogfight, weed, domestic issues, etc. But y'all keep saying all lives matter. STFU. And I quote, unquote. Now, she later went on to remark how the media is obsessed with her in light of this story, having named her a side chick, a stripper, and the likes, when she feels there are bigger issues at hand. Uh, now, the Miami Dolphin uh, coach, well, married coach, uh, has resigned from his position since uh, the video surfaced. Uh, For Forrester had been a coach since 1992 when he got started as an assistant coach for the Minnesota Vikings. Now, 
what do you think about this? I mean, uh, I think I do agree with her to a certain extent, you know. Um, I, you know, I hadn't even heard about this until today, but, um, you know, it makes, it, it does, you know, our uh, minority players, uh, seem like they do get punishment for everything, everything. Um, I, I'm going to give an example, um, like Cam Newton, uh, on last week. Now I saw the, the, uh, conference and the video uh that he did and uh i really don't see i really think it was blown out of proportion uh dan and yogurt who he was a sponsor for quickly dropped him like a hot potato uh from this um the words that he said but i mean he just said, she asked a question about uh, a, a football a play. And he said, I feel funny talking to a girl about it. I mean, and they blew it up. You could tell he wasn't a sexist. He didn't even realize that that was going to be an issue, you know, but they do. I mean, they blow everything out of proportion. Um, so, um, I mean, but now they're on this, um, uh, she says she's a model. They're on this model and, 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 um, just jabbing her with all they have talking about her, but they're not talking about the coach and his actions. You know, I, um, I do know that he did resign, but, um, boy, it, it would be more backlash if it was a, uh, a black player, uh, or coach or whatever. Um, uh, honey, that's been going on since the beginning of time, and I don't think it's going to stop. So, but, you know, that lets you know that we can't, and we never can could do everything that uh, a non-minority person can do, whether it's in Hollywood, whether it's Uh, whether, like I said, you know, whether, whatever. Um, I'll take some examples and y'all may say, well, wait a minute. That's not the same thing. But uh, take Bill Cosby, for example. Now, these women have come forth 30 years later about accusations that he molested them. And, you know... This has been 30 some years ago and, uh, but it has ruined his career, well, his career has ruined his image. Uh, but now we take, um, Donald Trump, uh, when he was running for president, they, uh, secretly was taping his conversation and he referred to how he, uh, just sexually molest women uh, by grabbing them in their um, private area, you know? And, uh, you know, he said it. He said, I just grab them in their, you know, private area. And no one took offense to that. I mean, no one took offense. And they, they voted him as president of the United States. Yeah, so you see where I'm going here? We have... We don't have double standards, and we never will. Huh. Well, that's my take on it. And, uh, you know, I love to hear your comments. So feel free to comment. And uh, thank you for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. And as always in parting, 
Be blessed. What we do here is go back, 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 back.